A Mr. Football finalist this year, and he's got the numbers to back it up. Toe meets leather. We are underway, and it is Winton who brings it back. Comes to the near side, and good coverage downfield by East Nashville on the open underway. And it's Elijah Cannon, the running back, and immediately they get the tight end. And it's Eli Owens who brings it upfield, gets it across the 30 to about the 32-yard line, and it's a first down. And they will hand it off to the running back who does not get the first down up to the 39-yard line. They picked up three. It'll be fourth and three. As well, they're going to. They had the ball back at the 37-yard line, so there was a long at the 39. Back to throw is Lamb. Pressure coming. He's flushed. Gibbs Brown, and then. Intercepted, coming the other way. This is a chance for a pick six, still on his feet, all the way to the end zone. Micah Jones, wow. a defensive touchdown for Alcoa. This against Dyersburg in the semifinals. They hit the edge and bring it downfield. And that's gonna be Keith Johnson who gets an initial first down for East Nashville. Please. Third and seven coming up for East Nashville. They'll hand it off to the running back and get a first down, it appears. Yep. Right up the middle, it's going to be Anderson, the running back, who rushed for over 800 yards this year. Throw the ball downfield and it gets intercepted inside the 10-yard line. That's not a bad deal. Land throws, and it is intercepted at the 25-yard line. And here they go again. Back at the 35-yard line. That's DuBose, the freshman corner. They hand it to the running back, Cannon. Cuts to the left and gets down to the 31-yard line. Down. Football at the 20-yard line. Graf to throw, swings it out near side. Gets it there to Owens. He'll try to pick his way through traffic. Got it down to the 10. And a first down at the nine yard line. Carruthers on the stop and uh, 10 goal at the four. Graf, he'll keep it himself. Hogtied at the four yard line and Israel Carruthers just bear hugged him. Into Since you've already committed two turnovers. Yeah. From the four yard line, Graf, he'll look to throw to the corner and it's caught. And it's going to be Brandon Winton, the Mr. Football finalist, made the catch, had it knocked out, but they say he completed the play, and that is an Alcoa touchdown. That was a really good throw by Eli, kind of back shouldering him. Right into your living room right yeah. there. Yeah, he had it. Trying to lead East to the first state championship for an NIL team since 2008. And here they give it off to the running back up to the 20 to start. Yeah, just a jet sweep bringing a guy in motion and trying to take some more pressure off of him. Uh-oh. Here we go. We've got to they get outside. It's Anderson and a foot race, and he fumbled it out of bounds. Uh, inside the 25-yard line, had the ball knocked away, goes out of bounds. Fuller, the running back. Don't get it to the outside. And Fuller down inside the 15 to about the 12-yard line. They found a little something here in Brandon Witten. Inside the red zone. They'll hand it off there. It's going to be Fuller. He got inside the 10. Still moving down to the 5-yard line. They'll get it in to the 4. So at the 4-yard line. Now they're picking up tempo again, Chip. Yep, he's successful. Back yep. to the line of scrimmage. And diving into the end zone. It's Keelan Anderson, touchdown East Nashville. Wow, what a drive. Didn't have to throw the ball once and uh, was able to get some success running outside. They were able to get the edge blocked and create the leverage for themselves and a uh, good job by their running. <laughs> good crisis. They hand it to yeah. the running back and he gets away. It's Cannon. Almost broke another tackle, but got it up to the 46-yard line, which is going to be a first down. Devarius Trotter finally got him on the ground, but can't. has it third and six to start the second quarter. They'll bring a screen pass here. 
And the ball is going to be caught by Cannon. Keeps going inside the 40. Got a block to the 20. Here he goes to the 10. He's going to take it to the house. 50 yards and a touchdown for Alcoa. That was a great call by Coach Nixon and his staff because they had everybody covered. And they went man to man, it looked like it. And I think the guy that had Cannon uh, was the guy that had him at the be to begin with, and he didn't make the tackle. Great blocking downfield, Kelly, and that's a best friend for a receiver. Absolutely, and that was, uh, like, like I said, that was a great play call. And you, uh, that's just film study. He knows what. Third and four. Graff will throw. Ball is going to be caught, and a sure tackle at the 44-yard line. Excellent defensive play there on the uh, on the pass as they threw it out to Owens. Now you got to be awake if you're East Nashville right here because they will, they will. And they did. Yeah, they faked it saying. and they completed it. Down the field to Eli Owens. Hey, well, you, you teased it and it happened. That's one of the things Coach Nix talked about. Rushed for over 400 yards this year and he there keeps it, it here inside the 10 and he'll get the first down at about the seven yard line. Picked up nine. You called that one, Chip. That was a good call by you. Nine. Alcoa one for one in the red zone. Here, Graff keeps it, and they're going to get him behind the line again. This time back at the 12-yard line. And guess who? Ladonis McLothan once again, big number 40. And I was wondering if they were going to try that, Chip, because it, it looked like that the Eli Graff was looking over at the coach, and they looked like they run the last play. Get them off the field. Graff rolls, Graff throws. Oh, wow, and what that a may catch. Have been caught. It is, what touchdown. A catch. Blankenship Brody on the catch. Wow. That was an excellent yep. catch by the senior wide receiver. Yeah, he went to a really good receiver, man. He runs really good routes and he's smooth. They'll go on a slant. And to the left side, they're going to get it over there again to Eli Owens, who has been Mr. Dependable today, where Israel Carruth line. And it is third and 17. Down the field, great catch at the 10 yard line. And that's right at the stick. Maybe it just a bit short, but Brennan Duggett brought it in. What a catch by the 5'10 seat at the four yard line. First and goal. Under three minutes to play here in the first half. And it'll be the quarterback graph all alone. He will waltz into the end zone. Touchdown Tornadoes. That was easy. Yeah. They had the right call, executed it very well. They'll hand it off to the running back. And Anderson came up a couple of yards short, a yard short at the 38 yard line. Wyatt McClure on the stop and they throw it out there. First completion of the day for East Nashville. And it is Jordan Houston. Now let's see if Alcoa, here they come. They're coming off the edge again. Quarterback steps up, keeps it, stayed on his feet, oh. lost the ball, and a fumble picked up by Alcoa. And here they come the other way. Down the sideline, it's Joe McCord, and the quarterback Lamb just had the ball pop out of his hands, and McCord took advantage. McCord gets the fumble recovery and takes it down to the 20. And on the first play, they hand it off to Scales, and he is inside the 10-yard line all the way down to the five. Two yards now for Scales. Right side, diving toward the end zone. That's a touchdown for Scales and a touchdown Alcoa. Could be a stinger, man. I've had a stinger before, and they're not very fun. Anderson, the running back, on the carry. Micah Jones on the stop. Maybe he'll give him a spark. I'm not sure. We'll see. They hand it off Anderson. He's got some room to the left side. Gets inside the 40. Still moving down inside the 35. Nice run by Keelan Anderson. Clock with Alcoa leading by 35. And that is the line of demarcation. Dallas Covington, the freshman quarterback. They have a little mix up in the backfield, but here comes Anderson. 20, 
15 down to the 11 yard line. Gotta love that kid. He's not giving up, man. He sees the turnovers, the defensive touchdown. I mean, that's huge. East Nashville with it. Throw it to the end zone. Touchdown. The young kid throws him a touchdown. The Anthony Lanier with the touchdown, and that's a nobody trashes Tennessee touchdown. John and it's going to be a third down play. Scales is the running back. So Graf got pressure from the backside, throws it downfield, oh, and intercepted at the 31 yard line. That's going to be Antony Morton, junior linebacker. That's his fifth interception. They're nice to say championship in a row. He's not really, I mean, he's just trying to get out of this one right now, you know. They'll hand it off to Scales, who takes it straight ahead to the 46-yard line. So this will be their 22nd, right? 26th. Oh, 26th. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's amazing, Chip. Cannon gets ganged up has some work to do as they start this drive at the one. And it is Covington and they hand it off. And here comes the running back Anderson. Oh, wow. From the one to the 50, he may go. This he could be a 99 yard run. Oh, wow. No flags on the field. And it's gotta be a state championship record. Keelan Anderson goes 99 for six. Five left in the ball game. They'll hand it off to the running back, Cannon, and the big back picks up two or three yards. Championship tomorrow. Good they luck. hand it off to Anderson, and that is probably his final carry of the day, but what a day it has been for Keelan Anderson. Over 250 yards rushing for East Nashville, but as the clock hits triple zeros, state title number 26 for the Alcoa Tornadoes, Coach Brian Nick.